Hey, this is Andy. This is a Mercruiser 143 liter 1979. And I wanted to talk about some issues about having a problem hard starting after it was warm. And this is a real common problem that you will see. Um, I've done a lot of research on this. Um, I thought it was just an issue with my coil and I don't think that's the true issue. So symptoms are you run the boat for a while and it seems to be running okay then then you go to start it and it just cranks and cranks and cranks and you're messing with the throttle and maybe eventually it'll catch um, but it's just really hard to start and you think oh my gosh is it fuel is my fuel boiling or is it something else and what it turned out to be is the coil not getting enough power um, to energize the coil so do a couple things here first let's look at the different leads and then i'll show you the issue that i ran into that i'm running into so on your coil you've got, um, you're typically going to have something like this, a resistor wire. And the job of this, resi this resistor wire, I think it's rated around 3 ohms, is it's going to bring the voltage from the coil down from 12 volts probably to closer to 6, 7, or 8, or 9 volts, uh, depending upon the resistor wire. And I think originally this was so you don't burn out your point and probably overheat the coil. Um, if you run it without the resistor wire, then, then you can damage your points, and I think you will eventually overheat the coil. I'm not sure, but that's the point of it, and it should work. I mean, this is, this is how it's designed. Also, attached to the positive side, so this is the positive side of the coil, is you're going to have this double harness. Now, I clipped mine just so I could test the wires. One of the wires on this double one, and it's a lighter tan, is plus 12. So this is when you turn on your key switch to run, you're sending 12 volts to the coil. That's why you don't want to just leave the key run on with the engine not running, or you're constantly putting power into the coil. The second one that's attached to it, and this is the one that was giving me, this is, I think, my whole problem with starting, is it's 12, it should be 12 volts, or it's, it's a plus 12, and it's coming from the bottom of the starter. Um, on the starter solenoid, not not the external solenoid for the starter, but the solenoid that's built into the starter itself. And I'll see if I can get a better shot of this. I can't tell very well as I'm filming it, but it is this wire right here. So as you turn the key, energize the starter, this should be getting 12 volts. And this 12 volts then is pumped back up into the coil to raise the voltage of the coil to make it easier to start as the engine's cranking because the engine is taking power. So if this is not working and the your coil is warm and it might not be running as efficiently as it normally did and then you try cranking, it just might not be getting enough to get spark. And I mean that's kind of the symptom you'll see is it just doesn't want to it doesn't want to catch. Um, and usually that's not fuel, that's usually spark. So this is the culprit. One way you can test, and the way I was testing is I'd run it, the coil was getting, you know, felt like it was getting warm, so I was thinking the coil was going bad, and I couldn't start, couldn't start, and so I would just run 12 volts, you know, from the battery straight into the positive of the coil, or just hook a jumper from 12 volts right here and touch it to the coil and crank it, and instantly it would start up. And then you could pull it away and the engine will keep running. Once it's running, it's fine, but just just that cranking by putting it on that plus 12. So that's what this is supposed to do. It's supposed to give 12 volts as the starter is turning. You release the starter and the engine's already running and it's not supplying the 12 volts anymore. Um, that was the, the culprit. So anyway, on our coil, we've got the resistor wire, resistance wire, 12 volts for the to run, 12 volts coming as you're cranking the engine, and that should be on the plus side. Um, I've got a uh, um, Fertronics electronic ignition, so that's what this is normally. This would be coming out of the points if you had points for the negative. And then on the negative side, you're probably going to have the two darker brown wires. And um, one of them is going to go to the tack, and the second is the shift interrupt. And the shift interrupt is this switch back here. So when you're shifting gears, it hits the switch and momentarily closes the switch, which momentarily grounds the um, coil, which prevents it from sparking. So it basically kills the engine just for a second to aid in shifting. So you should have the shift interrupt, the negative uh, for the points, or if you're using electronic ignition, the negative for that. Um, on the positive side, resistor wire, and then the, the two double ones for the plus 12, and check the start to the, the, um, the one that's going from the starter to the coil. And then in my case, I also have a separate um, plus 12 that's running from the switch. I think it's similar to this one, 
and all this is doing is it's going straight into my positive for my uh, CDI, my electronic ignition, and uh, they're saying that this thing always needs 12 volts, so if the voltage is too low here, you might run into an issue, so I'm just running it that way. But again, the big issue on this whole thing has been this wire. I was going to actually not even check it all. I was just going to install a relay, and um, as the starter is turning power, I was going to run a relay to put 12 volts in here. But I'm going to pull the starter, check the solenoid on the starter, and see as the starter is turning why this isn't giving me 12 volts. And I think that should fix the issue. Just a note about coils. Um, if you're using the resistor wire, then you've probably got a coil that's probably one and a half ohms. Um, flamethrower, this is Petronix, they make a 3 ohm coil that I used to use, but again, I was thinking I was having a problem with this originally. Um, with this one, you should not need the resistor wire, but you still might need that plus 12 going to the starter. So I still had issues, and again, I think this has been my problem. For the last two years, I've messed with this, gone from points to electronic ignition to points, and it, it just hasn't been perfect. Um, but this is a 3 ohm coil, which means that if you test it, and run it, you should see three ohms on it. Let me hook this guy up. I've got one lead, I've got two leads, and I haven't hooked up the second one. Too many things sitting around here. Aha, three ohms out of there. The coil is just a standard one, which I think is one and a half ohms. And I lost my mic.